Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, what do you have? I don't know, but it's Oh my gosh. You're watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Rods. Make every cast count. So we got David and his dad, Jim, from Canada. Would you say two states and what? Two countries and nine states. Two countries and nine states. Yeah. Just to get here. Fish Pensacola. Got your new native? Talked. I learned it, learned about it from uh, Woody from Native when we were at ICAP. Yeah. Yeah. Great boat. It's a Slayer. Yeah. Propel. Yeah. I had the uh, I had the Ultimate 12 before, and I had dreams of getting offshore, and you can't do it in the Native. <laughs> it's uh, very sinkable, yeah. apparently. Wow. Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like a canoe. Super. Light. Great for the flats, man. All right. See, what we can do this morning. A few days before Jim and David got here, Teresa and I scouted this area out. Let's go see what it looks like in the daytime before we start fishing. Scouting new territory. This is the Bob Sykes Bridge. This is where we launched. This is where the jack was. So we're fishing Santa Rosa Sound. So uh, what time does the gate open up front? I got here early one morning. Every time I get here, it's always been open. So, yeah. What time you get here? 8.30. Um, 8.30? Yeah, we already in. Right. Oh, this is a beautiful place. So it's basically an oak preserve and a wildlife preserve. Santa Rosa Sound. Yeah, we like grassy nurseries. Yeah, we caught those back here. Now, well, if you come to Pensacola, I'd come see this place. This is a neat little uh, like a museum. museum. Almost died because of spiders, but it's cool. It's nature, folks. It says sugar white sands. Why is the sand on Navarre Beach and across the Emerald Coast so white that it looks like grains of sugar? Why? This quartz, quartz rich sand actually washed down from the Appalachian Mountains by way of the Apach, App, Apalachicola River where it entered the Gulf of Mexico and eventually made its way onto our shores. The sand is pure white quartz crystals ground into perfect granules, leaving the sand powdery, soft, even squeaking under your toes. Please remember to leave only your footprints behind so that others can enjoy it as well. Wow. It's quartz from the Appalachians. Quartz. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Let's head back to the same area with Jim and David. I feel like I'm hunting. Walking a trail in the dark. Except I don't hunt barefoot usually. David, you ready for this? I am ready. Been ready. <laughs> Nine states was ready. Yeah, man. Ready to launch. Look, we got some, a uh, little bit of a chop, but no wind. It's strange. Let's see what we can do. All right, David's dad's got a fish on here bright and early. Put barely sun coming up. Let's see, oh, I hear the drag. Man. You going for a sleigh ride? I think so. <laughs> it looked like you were going kind of fast. <laughs> He's throwing a you throwing a gulp? He's throwing Berkeley gulp. Got some uh freshly spooled with spider wire braid, so oh holy smokes. Oh my gosh, what do you have? I don't know, but <laughs> Oh my gosh, it sounds like a jack. We might be fighting this guy for a while. You might want to tighten that drag down just a touch. Just a touch. Oh, mackerel. Yeah. Tighten your drag up a little bit there, partner. And keep the tension on it. Lift up, reel down. There you go. And we'll wear him out with the boat. We'll use the boat to wear him out. Holy mackerel. Come on now. <laughs> That's a beast. I don't know what you've got. 
cavalry to pull both of us. Okay. This is a monster. He's pulling both of us. This is epic. Oh! What happened? He broke off? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a monster. Was it ever? <laughs> well, we'll never know what that was. Oh. I didn't see him jump, so I don't think it was a tarpon. Pulled off. He just pulled off, or did he straighten the hook? That fish did not bend the hook. I just think we had a really big fish with a really hard mouth. Holy smoke. Well, he just hit like a, I don't know what it would be, like a truck taking hold of her, I guess, and taking off. That was a damn good for straight. <laughs> yeah, he was a dandy. I thought I was gonna have a fight on my hands there for a while. You would have if you'd have stayed on there. Yeah. So where are you from, Mr. Jim? I'm from uh, Leamington, Ontario, Canada, just across the river from Detroit, Michigan. Come on. Yeah. That's a long way from here. Long hike, but it's worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. You made it worth it already. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is so. All right. Awesome start here. It was a little choppy, but I really wanted to throw some top water. Whoa, there you go. Something smacked it. Whoa, and again. These aren't monsters, little schooly trout, but I'll take a top water bite any way I can get it. All right, a couple little dink trout. Second one I've gotten off the whole spot. There's a bunch of trout over here. That little trout inhaled the hook on the back of that top dog. I can get him off and hail that thing, man. All right, David's hooked up, folks. Looked like David was hooked up on something nice, and he told me he had a pinfish sideways. Yep. They're all over that gulf, man. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, wait, that's not a, that's not a pin. They got a name. I forgot the name of those things. I thought they were called grunts, but come on, Florida people, help me out. What the heck is that? Good bait. I got a couple of more nice ones over there. I yeah. ended up losing them when they broke water a couple times. Yeah, what, are, what were they, you know? Well, I think they were trout because the other fellow over there, he got one about 17 inches long. Yeah, he said it was a trout. Speckled trout, yeah. That's what he said it was, speckled yeah. trout, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I had two nice ones on, but they broke water and they were gone. Yeah, they have a real thin mouth. Yeah, probably like a white tip. We change over to the ripple because that's what he hits on. Yeah. What you got there? Got the uh, ripple mullet. Ripple mullet. You got a chartreuse tail on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. See what happens. He's got, I think, full chartreuse. He's using over there. Awesome. See what happens. Yeah, man. I, I, I believe in that taste and smell and those things. Oh, so I'd never kayak fish until this year, but it kind of opens up a whole new world. You get access to all the big fish and all the big water without having to haul all the gear with you and having to invest forty thousand dollars in a boat. Easy to throw up, you can haul it through paint with any car. You don't need much gear, you just want a couple rods, a little bag of bag of bait, some ta terminal tack when you're good to go. Hook into whatever you can get your hands on. Crazy. Y'all drove all the way here from where? Well, my dad drove here from Canada last, yes, two days ago. And then we, we uh, connected South Carolina where I live, and then we drove here last night. So it was, uh, it's been a haul for him, not as bad for me. And you're taking your, you're taking your native Slayer everywhere you go, right? Everywhere I go. <laughs> you see it on top of my Mini, it's bigger than my car is. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. All right, let's keep working this flat. Uh, all right, let's do this. What you got, man? Speckle. Come all the way down here from Canada. He's killing the speckled trout. Yeah. How many you got? Well, I got three, but I let two of them go. I didn't know whether to keep or not. You got to be 15. 15? I don't know. Little guy. Nice. You're, just ha you're just hammering them. Yeah, you on top of them. In the water, just that thing, he just hits the water and bang. And he just drives it. Really? Them. You must be on a school of them. And I got a... Long skinny one, almost looks like a shark. Long and skinny? Uh, yeah, sure. They look like a tarpon? I like don't a, know what a tarpon is. But. Long and silver? Yeah, and it, well, it's got brown on the back. Brown on the back? back. Kind of got like a flattish head on it. The redfish had a spot on the tail? Didn't see the spot. Kind of bronze color? No, kind of green, greenish brown on the top. Nose of it was kind of flat, like a pike tail. I don't know. 
Pike tail. Did it have a face like a snake? There's something called a lizard fish. Skinny, 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 though, almost like an eel type thing on it. Ah, he said an eel type thing. That's a lizard fish. I think we got it. What you got there, man? Monster trout? Monster trout. He was hungry. <laughs> Big boy. I like that mullet swimming. Um, Loving the swimming mullet. Was it a ripple, ripple mullet? mullet. What a great time I had hanging out with Mr. Jim and David. This is a father and son duo that are doing an annual thing. They came all the way down here from South Carolina. Well, Jim came all the way from Canada, South Carolina, then to Florida Panhandle, just to fish with me for the day. They're headed back to the Carolinas to go through the mountains on motorcycles. Then they're going up to Michigan to do a camp out. It's just great to see a father and son getting together, doing the bonding thing, fishing and just loving life. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time right here on 30 Miles Out.